Hey, this is Luke here. This is our first round table vlog and we thought we'd do a little trip. We're doing a wonderful classic and vintage car show in 2017 and today we've been invited along by our friends at Brightwells and they're going to show us around the auction. It's amazing, they've got some wonderful cars there. There is a bit of a worry. Our colleague and chairman, Will, is already there and he's already put a bid on something. Uh, I'm with my friend Andy, who is our vice chairman or chairman of vice. Hi Andy. Uh, hi Luke. Um, yeah, hopefully Will hasn't purchased too much. I understand that uh, Brightwells are going to be selling uh, an old fighter plane today, so let's hope that uh, Will hasn't purchased that. Oh dear. Well, we know what Will's purchasing is like. He does like to spend the money. So uh, we're going to travel over to Lemster now. It's only about 20 minutes, uh, and hopefully we'll get there in one piece. And if the squeakiness in the back is a load of shelves, we had to pick those up on the way. So we'll check in with you in a bit. Bye. Right, we finally found Will now. He's uh, bought Luke a pink car, apparently. Great. Um, just trying to find out how uh, how things work. So Will's been here a little bit and he's going to explain to us about that. Should we have a look at some cars? Yeah, that's Oh, look at this Merc. Wow. It's basically car porn, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. Have you found one you prefer yet then, Will? Challenger's quite nice. The Challenger? The Maserati over the far side are quite light. Is and a couple of Bentleys. Is that a... That would be a Dukes of Hazzard car then, would yeah. it? Fantastic. Yeah, that'd make a hell of a noise. The cars! We don't really know anything about cars. Well, you must know something about cars. At all? So you mean we've come on a round table trip to probably the UK's biggest classic car auction and the two people I've brought to talk about cars know nothing about cars. Is that where we're going with this one? Okay. New car for you then, Andy? Uh, yeah, I'd have to go and see my bank manager, I think, but uh, quite possibly. Well, oh, excellent, at least your bank... Oh, is it the yellow one? Oh, let's go and have a look at that Maserati. then. Maserati. Maserati, oh, there we are. There we are, Andy, only 14,000. Bargain. Yeah. Very, very inconspicuous and a bright yellow. You'd, I think it, it would park beautifully outside work for you, I think. Yeah. We found Will's car. Here we are. Oh, Will, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Your car's behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Mini Metro. Oh, and she's the Vlanden, Vanden Pla as well. She's the top of the range. She's the Vanden Pla. No, with no reserve. Well, yeah. It's probably worth more now than it was new. So we've definitely got a project here on the old uh, VW Transporter. And a nice Land Rover. I don't know what that is actually. It looks like a Suzuki or something. But that is definitely an FSO. And isn't she beautiful? So who do you think this would suit in our round table then? That'd be James Arnold. Yeah, I think it would, yeah. Do you not think his hair would get a bit messed up? No, he ain't got that much hair to get messed up, has he? No, that's a fair point. I suppose he won't, not a couple of years and he'd be all right then. And the new van as well. Heather would love that, actually. That would be a very Heather van. Yeah, it'd suit the great British florist down to a T. Yeah, that would be very much a GBF van. And then here is a Heather car. Although perhaps it'll be a little bit too big and she may need to have a little uh, cushion on the spine. An Austin 7 tractor. Heather, it's okay, we found you one that's probably more to size for you. Look at that. The ideal Mrs. Gorringe mobile. Yeah, this bodes really well for the car show, doesn't it? If you think about it, and having, you know, um, Brightwell say that they'll sort of help us out and market it to these people, I just couldn't believe how many are here, to be fair. Is it even busier? Oh, right. Should we head on there now, then? Go on, then, guys, I'll follow you. What have we got here, then, Will? Sorry? <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a, is it Cadillac? Yeah. And then a lovely, is that a, is that a Vauxhall uh, Cavalier? She is a Cavalier, isn't she? 1600 GL. She's the 1600 GL, lovely. Oh no, this is a bit of me. This is my car. This is beautiful. It's the Daimler, I'd rather the Jag, but still, it's absolutely exquisite. Look at that. 15 to 18, oh, there we are. Oh, 
there to film. They'd like to stand as far apart as possible to make the job as difficult as possible. So where are we going now, Mr. Compare? We have the actual sales room. Right. Um, so we've got 700 people sat on chairs in front of the salesman. Okay. Everything's done on the TV screen. Yeah. Um, so you have to pre-register before right. you go to the sale. Yeah. Um, and then once you've bought something, or if it's uh, provisional, you go yeah. up and discuss the price and pay for it. So everything has to be paid for on the day of the auction. Yeah. Um, and collected or removed from the site. And so, if I sort of scratch my nose or scratch my ass, is that an advisable thing to do here, or will Just I end up? Hand up high and wave it, you'll be I'll be all right, will we? Excellent. Right, let's go on in then. Oh, that gentleman's coming in. We'll let him go first. We can film him in then. You say, oh, lovely smile there, sir. Fantastic. And the brochure as well. Is that the best side, is it? Hang on, we'll just check. Yeah, that looks much better. That does, yeah. 6-1. At 6-1. In the hundreds, sir, if you're bidding seated. At 6-2. 6-2. 6-3. 6-3. 6,003 now. At 6-3. 6,003. At 6-3. 6,003 anymore? At 6-3. Last call then, provisionally sold at 6-3. There we are, and here's 50, annoyed one of the auctioneers at Brightwell, smiling very happily. No reserve. Is it a good sale? 200, 200 is there. 200. Sorry. How many 200, do you think have turned up? 200. Yeah, yeah. 250. 250. At 250, second row now. 250. Yeah, phenomenal. At 250. No, there isn't. Best best park on the field. My shoes are in a right mess. <laughs> can, I, can I claim something? <laughs> Last call. Oh, okay. And the price is good. So far, so good. Yeah. Just here. Going well. All right. How long will it last for today, then? Thank you. How long will you be here? Yeah. Yeah. On the other side. Oh, lot number 33 oh, wow. sold. That's a big old dude. Um, at 11. At 11,000. Last chance. Anyone else? At 11. Sold away, then. At 11,000. Yeah, and a 16 plate, so it's one day old. That is a future classic of anyone's money. Great, right, 16 plate, one day old, probably gone up in value since they bought it. Yeah, I was speaking to someone the other day who just bought a 65 plate and it had gone up £6,000 before he even had it delivered. <laughs> there we are. Money for old rope.